I rolled out my 100 foot long, really heavy piece of plastic paper barrier. It's only six mil, but whatever, maybe I'll put two layers. You don't know how long 100 feet is till you roll out a piece of vapor barrier. Yeah. So I think I'm going to cut this in half. I think I did the math correctly. Or I can cut this in half. The seam has to go... the same way as the doors. It has to follow the ribs. It can't go the other way here. I'm just going to blow it in half again. How about that? Anyways, I got to cut this and get taping before, um, before the rain starts again. Oh, I better go around this way. It's a long walk that way to get the tape. <laughs> I don't want to walk on it. I'll get some pinholes in it using the good old tuck tape. So it's rain. Oh, excuse me. It's raining. So I had to stop. I couldn't tape the other side. So I got to put it somewhere safe. It's also dry, of which I have probably nowhere. So I'm going to have to uh, maybe do some tarping or find something. It's really dark. What time is it anyway? 10 13. It's way past my bedtime and I still gotta put all this stuff away. Oh, and I didn't get nearly done what I wanted to. And now it's supposed to keep raining the rest of the week. So, that's as much as I can do. There's nothing else I can uh, do my day offs done. 
thank goodness my boss let me have a day off. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got this far. Lots of videos coming up. Or actually, you've seen a bunch of videos. But there are definitely going to be more. <coughs> I still haven't got this though. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna deal with this stuff. It's 4.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. I've been waiting and waiting for it to warm up and for everything to dry because it's been raining for the last few days. And I think it's finally warm enough that I can work out here without having 20 layers of clothes on. I had a good scare this morning. I thought for sure there was frost because it was just that cold. So I really got to get my sensitive trees in. I've been saying that for a while and I am slowly getting there, but I need to get there faster. Everything's looking okay. <laughs> they don't need water. They're soaking wet. Yeah, I got lots of repotting to do. Oh, this fuchsia is doing really good. It's the little single one. Oh, come on, focus. Focus! <laughs> yeah, there, maybe now you'll see. There, it's the little single petal one. Uh, it's doing really good. Olive's finally starting to pick up. I gotta bring it in the house. My milkweed's doing okay. It'll stay out here. Yeah. Oh, look it! It's going to a second flush. This late in the season. <laughs> Ever cute. Oh yeah, soaking wet. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I'm just gonna let it grow and thicken up. And then in springtime I'll repot and then we'll go from there. Oh, spider took over over there. I think I'll fertilize today too. Give them a little something extra. Whoop. Watch out for that. Alright, I got some work to start. Yep. Maybe I'll start with this. Hmm. No, I better get that done.
<laughs> All right. Step one is, wow, this is like step 50 maybe. <laughs> Tarp is over. I did get help for like two seconds there. And then he ran away again. I don't know why. But he is a guest. He's not somebody that lives here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I have raspberry cane rashes. Holy cow. The camera does put on weight. My freaking angles aren't that long. And look, I caught a raspberry in my boot, in my shoe. Right, Mutt, did you help? You didn't help. Don't lie. <laughs> okay, so I definitely need a break. It is it is 7.27 and I know everything will stay dry. I just got to make sure it doesn't blow away. So what I'm going to do, I really don't want to now. I'd rather put 2x4s at the bottom instead of plywood. I was going to put plywood up the sides here and um, like roll this plastic up with the plywood and staple it to the plywood and then attach the plywood on the inside to those bars. But I really like having this all the way open. Well, when I move my camper, it's going to be really visible in here. So I might do the plywood thing here just for privacy from the road. But yeah. And I left it super long on the other side there. You can see that these aren't centered. <coughs> My seam isn't centered because I'm going to take this back wall off and uh, I'm going to put a uh, make a floor out of pallets and use all this plywood as uh, walls and a little roof over top there and then that plastic will cover the whole thing so it'll be nice and waterproofed. I won't have to get any roofing material just the plastic will go all the way over. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. I need a cup of tea. I'm going to go in and get a cup of tea. i got to water everything too. Okay, so I just can't do any more tonight. So what I did on each side was um, I put straps from the corner um, what do you call them? Anchors. And then I strapped it to each side. And I'm just going to roll this tarp up, slugs and all, because the slugs here are ridiculously fast. They get all over everything right away. You can see that everything's soaking wet already. See these slugs? Crazy things. I can't believe how fast they are. Oops, sorry, I'm flinging you guys around. Trying to do it one handed. So, hopefully, that'll um, prevent it from blowing away. But you can see the dew on it already. It is ridiculously cold out here right now. I wasn't expecting it to get this cold. <sighs> oh, I stepped in the mud puddle there. So I took my olives and I put my olives in it. Oh, you can't even see it. Put my olives in the shop. It says it's going to go to 9 Celsius. But I have a feeling that... And we're going to start frosting up again. The dew is already all over everything. This wisteria, it always 
Like, it's not low on water. Every night, and then if I get up early in the morning, it's all wilted looking. It had me panicking so many times. Oh, it's got new growth up there. But it had me panicking so many times because it looks like it's going to die. But then it, when the sun hits it, it opens back up again. I didn't realize that they did that. Well, hopefully, hopefully all these tropicals will be okay. Pretty much everything else is frost tolerant, except for, except for this fuchsia, which I should probably take into, just in case. But fuchsias like it cold, but they can't take a frost. It's so weird. Actually, I'll leave it out here. There really shouldn't be a frost tonight. There really shouldn't. It just feels that way. And you can you can smell like autumn, if that makes sense. You can smell it now and it, it's, uh, yeah, like the smell of winter. So I'm just going to move this ladder so I don't run it over. Oh, I got to put my camera stand away and yeah. Oh, I closed my door over there. You can't even see it with the light from here. That's not the middle. There we go. I'm trying to do this with one hand. <gasps> Don't rip the plastic. Don't rip the plastic. Oh. So there shouldn't be any strong winds. Look at the... It's warmer in there than it is out here. Definitely. Look at the condensation on there. The temperature dropped so fast. Anyway. I gotta go to the city tomorrow, so I'm just gonna put the rest of my stuff away and... Have another cup of tea and go to bed, I guess. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Be safe out there. <laughs>